in today's session we will learn about uh, this interesting things so web browser okay uh, have you ever used web browser or oh, you can't stay can't spend your day without accessing web browser okay without utilizing web browser so what is web browser it is a software application for retrieving presenting and traversing information resource on world wide web that means if you want anything from web www okay you can get it and you can get it on web browser so what kind of uh, web browser you are using this one is mozilla firefox google chrome my favorite one and after that opera and internet explorer now uh, whatever uh, whatever you want uh, from www okay uh, you can get it using uh, its uri whenever you hit a uh, uri whenever you search for uri okay then you get it in your web browser uh, in and it, it will be displayed on your web browser so hyperlink it represent in resource enable user to easily navigate their browser to related resource for example whenever uh, for for example in google Ma in okay in web browser just a uh, google chrome uh, i just a uh, search uh, Lapinos near me, okay, because I am feeling hungry right now. Uh, Lapinos near me, okay. So it will give me a suggestion, okay, and I can choose uh, appropriate uh, 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 appropriate link, and this link will navigate uh, me to my required resource, okay. Now architecture of web browser. Over here you can see that there are a stack of a uh, stack of some blocks first upper one is the user interface after that browser engine rendering engine networking javascript interpreter ui backend and this one is data persistence so let's discuss it about more in detail the first one is user interface now what is this one it is a space where user interact with browser have you ever uh, entered anything or uh, just let me give you one example directly okay over here lapinos store okay lapinos pizza near me okay so this is where this space is my user this space is my user interface okay and over here you can see that there there are another link you may get or what else you can get here is it include address bar back and next button for previous and next button uh, home page refresh and stop and bookmark option etc uh, okay so uh, this this upper portion this upper portion is is your user interface after that here comes browser engine now this browser it, it it work as bridge between your user interface and your rendering engine according to the input from various user interfaces it queries and manipulate the rendering engine that means whatever i enter in my user interface then your browser engine it uh, it uh, queries and manipulate uh, manipulate that input uh, input from rendering engine now after that what is rendering engine now this part this part is responsible for rendering the requested web page on the web web browser on your web browser screen it interpret the html and xml documents and image that are formatted using css and generate the layout that is display in the user interface what does it means for example i am requesting uh requesting some web document okay and generally web document is uh, made up of some text and some html component html tag so whenever i request this your rendering engine read that xml and uh, xml and html document and it is displayed in appropriate manner so that i can get it appropriately okay uh, uh before uh, besides uh, text and uh, HTML tag with the help of plugins and extension 
your rendering engine can also display other other uh, other formats of data now different browsers use different rendering engine for example uh, chrome uh, chrome and safari use webkit and uh, your internet explorer use trident these are the example of uh, rendering engine after that networking it retrieve the urls using the common internet protocol and it protocol it can be http or ftp it handle all aspect of internet communication and security besides that uh, this part this part also uh, manage cache memory uh, cache memory of retrieved document so that uh, your network traffic can be reduced at at some expense some extent component of web browser now we will see javascript interpreter now this part interpret and execute your javascript code which is included in your website and interpreted result are sent to the rendering engine for display now if uh, there are some case, there are some case when your javascript code is uh, is Uh, external file so first javascript interpreter will get this external resource and after that uh, it send it to rendering engine and for, uh, for display now after that ui backend uh, it is uh, basically for drawing widgets like a uh, combo boxes and windows it underneath uses operating system user interface method now this ui backend is not web browser dependent okay it is generally system dependent operating system dependent so after that it is data persistent and storage now it is uh, it support a storage mechanism like a local storage indexed database web sql and file system it is like a small database database created on a local drive of your computer where the browser is installed it manage your data such as cache cookies bookmarks and preference you 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 may have used bookmark options okay uh, so whenever you bookmark one page it is stored in your data persistent storage okay data persistent or storage it it is it acts like a small cache memory okay where your all data is saved now the important thing here is that in web browser such as google chrome whenever you uh, hit a uh, hit new tab then it will cause a separate process that means multiple instances of rendering engine runs when you are using multiple tabs so this is all about a web browser and uh, you uh, and you know much more about web browser but this is just uh, what is web browser and architecture of web browser i hope you understood it well and uh, keep reading have a nice day